Welcome, here we go. So what I have is the right triangle definitions of trigonometric functions. So what we're dealing with is we're dealing with the right triangle. And if you remember, when we had a right triangle, one of the most famous uh, rules we could use was a squared b squared equals c squared, right? A leg of a right triangle plus another leg of a right triangle equals the hypotenuse of that triangle squared. And that's really important for us to understand and remember what the hypotenuse is because it's always directly across from our 90 degree angle. And it's always also the largest side of our triangle. So we're not going to be doing Pythagorean theorem. Uh, but what we're going to do is I want you to remember what the hypotenuse is. And what I'm going to do is I am going to choose an angle. All right. And from that angle, I want to kind of differentiate between the two legs. We know that the two legs squared added up gives us the hypotenuse squared. But what, how do we differentiate between the le two legs? Well, when I pick an angle theta, the, the side that's between theta and my, and my right angle is what I like to call my adjacent side. And the angle that's directly across from my angle is what we're going to call the opposite side. All right. So now what we look at is when we look at the kind of we can ratios of these side lengths. If I was going to kind of um, put these as ratios, we bring up our trigonometric functions. So what we have is six functions we're going to work with. And so what we have is the sine of an angle. So that my trigonometric function is sine of an angle theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So the, my function of an angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is equal to the ratio of your adjacent side over your hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side over your adjacent side of your triangle. So those are three of them, and we have three more. Now, we only have three sides, so what are the ways can we write ratios? Well, we also have what we call our reciprocal identities. And our reciprocal identities are going to be the reciprocals of sine, cosine, and tangent. And the first one is cosecant of theta, and that's going to be the reciprocal of sine. So if sine is opposite over hypotenuse, the cosecant of theta is equal to the hypotenuse over opposite. The secant function is the reciprocal of cosine, and that's equal to the hypotenuse over adjacent. And the cotangent function is the reciprocal of tangent, which is equal to adjacent over opposite. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are going to be your six trigonometric functions when dealing with a right triangle. I hope you uh, have understand them, don't have any questions. But if you do, feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks.